Hello everyone, welcome to tomorrow. There are several spacecraft that are planned to either fly by or rendezvous with asteroid Apophis in April of 2029. April 13th, Friday the 13th to be specific. Although it's been determined that Apophis is no longer as much of a risk as we once thought it was, there is still a danger that it could collide with Earth at some point in the future, and if that happens it could be an extinction level event. So, very important that we study this object and other near-Earth asteroids to protect our planet and our species, all life on this planet from destruction. Thanks to the brilliant folks at NASA, the number one spacecraft that's going to be rendezvousing with Apophis is OSIRIS-REx. The spacecraft that rendezvoused with asteroid Bennu took a sample and returned that to Earth. The spacecraft is still in good shape, still has fuel, still has decent sensors. Why not extend the mission and try to get as much use out of it as we can? They've even changed the name from OSIRIS-REx to OSIRIS-APEX, which stands for Apophis Explorer. All right. It's going to be rendezvousing with Apophis in June of 2029, so after the closest approach with Earth. However, it's going to get in such close proximity that it will be able to study Apophis for a year and a half. During that time, they plan to get so close and fire their thrusters of the spacecraft against Apophis to disturb some of its dirt and get a little bit more data about what the asteroid is made out of. The project is confirmed, the orbital rendezvous are already scheduled, and every Everything is on track as long as the extended funding for Osiris Apex remains in place, which is at risk because Congress is trying to cancel as many of NASA science missions as they can to help save the budget. It would certainly be a shame to turn off a perfectly good spacecraft due to budget concerns. However, Osiris Apex isn't our only hope. There are several other spacecraft in development. The European Space Agency is building a spacecraft called Ramses based off of their Hera spacecraft. This is another spacecraft that can do a rendezvous and study the asteroid for a large amount of time. Their plan is to launch their spacecraft before the Earth flyby and be able to study it and be flying along with it during the Earth flyby so they can really get a number on what the actual changes were, the Earth perturbations of its orbit, and see how much it changes its trajectory and how much of a risk that change in trajectory places on us. Also, there's going to be two CubeSats flying along with Ramses. One of them would be to orbit around Apophis, and the other one would actually impact its surface, again, to help get a better understanding of what the asteroid is composed of. However, the spacecraft has only been able to do some preliminary work and hasn't secured full funding yet. That's going to be decided this November at the next ministerial meeting of the European Space Agency members. Aside from that, JAXA, the Japanese Space Agency, Agency is working on their Destiny Plus spacecraft, which its primary mission is actually to go to a different asteroid, asteroid Phaeton, but because the spacecraft has had delays in its launch, they realized that they had an opportunity when they do actually launch the spacecraft to do a flyby of Apophis before going on to its final destination of Phaeton. So although just a short, brief flyby, there still is a little bit of extra data that we'll be able to collect in 2029, thanks to JAXA and the Destiny Plus spacecraft. Aside Aside from that, there are several proposals and some good ideas of other spacecraft that would need to be launched in order to rendezvous before that 2029 Earth flyby. One of them is being studied by JPL. They're working on a project called Droid, which is a pair of CubeSats that have radar capabilities to essentially take a CAT scan of Apophis and really understand its structure. NASA also has a pair of spacecraft called the Janus spacecraft that were supposed to have flown with the Psyche spacecraft but weren't ready when it was time to launch Psyche. So there are plans of potentially repurposing them to study Apophis instead, although just proposals, but the satellites have been built and are otherwise just sitting being mothballed in a warehouse. Apparently, even Blue Origin put forth a proposal to use their Blue Ring spacecraft on a mission to rendezvous with Apophis. However, it's just a proposal and there's no other detailed plans aside from just using blue ring so they probably aren't going to go through with that unless they get some funding from nasa
That's just my guess anyway. Aside from some other small university proposals, there's actually two proposals coming out of China that I think are a really good idea. One of them is called the Apophis Recon Swarm, and another is called Crown. Both plans would involve sending multiple spacecraft to the orbit of Venus, but spread out far enough that they could provide a wide enough coverage to give us advanced warning of near-Earth asteroids. One idea is to send a a small spacecraft with a CubeSat on some sort of rideshare mission that hasn't been determined yet in order to rendezvous with Apophis and have the same type of goals as the other missions we discussed, getting radar data, getting more data about its composition and surface details so that we can truly understand how much the Earth passes every time it passes Earth are actually affecting its gravitational orbit and changing the risk factors for us as to when it could potentially hit us. Might be 100 years from now, might be 30 years from now, but one way or another, we need to really understand this object and so many others that are potential Earth impactors. So regardless of what anyone says about the geopolitical issues between some of these nations, we're all on the same planet together. At the very least, this is one of those things that we should all be cooperating on, planetary defense. Can we at least agree on that? In any case, I am very pleased to see the space agencies of the world taking this seriously and making plans now before before we have run out of time to truly understand Apophis on its next flyby in 2029. What do you think about these missions? I certainly hope that you support these kind of efforts. And if you do, I would highly encourage you to try to contact your congressperson, your senator, or your local representative if you're in Europe to let them know we need this stuff funded and we very much want these type of planetary defense missions to happen. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Space Mike. If you enjoyed this quick update, be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until the next time I see you guys, keep moving onwards and upwards. And don't forget, add Astra to the stars.